Chrissy. Today I'm just putting together a quick little after work meal for my family, Todd and Caitlin. So what I'm going to do here is make some turkey sole rolls, some sauteed cabbage, pepper cabbage, and some oven roasted broccoli. What we have here is a Tupperware container. Now this is really good. These sole rolls are good for leftovers. This is just a pound of ground turkey cooked up mixed in with about four diced up potatoes and about a quarter of a cabbage all mixed up. I sauteed it, mixed it all together and then I threw some soy sauce in there. Refrigerated it overnight because it's leftovers and now I got these egg roll wraps $2.99 for like a million of them. What I'm doing is just I'm going to roll this up like this. Short corners in, long corners around, Flip it over, and we just use a little piece of water, a little fingertip of water to seal it. So as you can see, here's the finished product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deep fry this afterwards. Over here I got my half a head of cabbage, garlic salt, a couple shakes, a couple shakes of seasoned salt, and some pepper. I like a lot of pepper, so I use a lot of pepper. And what you want to do is just keep this moving in the pan. Keep it moving around so it doesn't stick. So we'll just get this off the heat and let the heat finish the cooking. What you want to do is you want to cook it until it's a little bit flimsy. Still has a good crunch to it, but it's done cooking, so it's not like raw. Yes, child. Good job. See over here, multitasking. Raising kids and cooking dinner. Now for my broccoli that I'm going to got going. I got my oven over here on 350 degrees. So that's just heating up. I have a skillet with a metal handle, not a plastic. So we're going to take this right over and put it in the oven. Say hi, Katie. Hi. And then my favorite seasoning, a little bit of season all. You got that? Season all, season salt. Couple shakes. Pepper. As you can see, I like pepper. That's why I get the big old industrial size pepper. And what you want to do is just keep on stirring this up. And we're just letting this stir and cook for a minute. Now what we're about to do is fry up these egg rolls. You know what, I got an oil open already. Go ahead and use your some Stater Brothers vegetable oil. I mean, you can use Food for Lesser Ralphs if you want to. I'm just saying I use Stater Brothers. We just gonna pour a good amount in there to cover the bottom of the pan. Let that heat up like you fry a chicken. Don't know the temperature, but you know how hot grease is supposed to be. Again. And if you spill something like that, just throw it back in. Nobody will know. Now again, prep time for this meal isn't really that long because the egg rolls are made out of leftovers. So again, if you have carrots, you can throw carrots in there. You can throw cabbage. I think the biggest deal is to make sure everything you throw in there has already been cooked. So if you got hamburger patties from another day, crumble it up. If you want some cheese in there, throw it in there. Whatever you want in these egg rolls, you, you do whatever you want to do. So the broccoli test for this is pretty much the same. The same test you would do for the cabbage. Just making sure it has a little bit of crunch. And we're going to keep on tossing this around. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit 
oil in here just a little bit. Now, mind you, I use vegetable oil only when I have to. And I only have to because my olive oil is gone. That's the only reason I have to. And, it, and it's just a little bit, about a tablespoon. So just to go ahead and let that conglomerate. Yeah. You see the broccoli is starting to turn a little bit of a yellow color, and that's what we want. That's how you know that those plant cells are breaking up. See this yellow? That's how you know the plant cells are breaking down. And it's so good after you finish. That's what's the whole thing about everything here. That is freaking delicious. So we're going to take this off the heat and throw it right in the oven. That's why I wanted you to have a metal handle plant pan. Metal handle. Because we're going to take this and throw it right in the oven just like that. We'll be back to worry about that later. And then here goes this cabbage. Mm, it's so good to me. So now you gotta touch the grease to see if it's ready. And it's not. So we're gonna wait. Hopefully Todd edits this and then the waiting will be like some fast forward uh, music. Music makes me lose control. Oh wait, while we're breaking. These are some peppers that I picked from my garden, jalapenos. Todd went ahead and threw VSOP in here. Why? I don't know. I didn't do that. Who did it? I don't know. Game night, motherfucker. Well, that means it was Mike or Nasir. And I say it was Mike. Oh. Lay them in there. And they're already wrapped. They're already cooked. If you have tongs, you can use tongs. I have tongs, but Todd's not done washing the dishes. Can you pan over to the dishes, please, to show the world how you're not done washing them? Okay, so just that fast, they're ready to be flipped. See that beautiful golden color? I need my damn tongs. This isn't working out too well for me. My little like that. What do you got? That one or that one? That one or that one? I can see. You want to watch? Let me see what you got here. <laughs> Shirley Chisholm, 72, Unpart and Unboss. Or, let me see this one. Let me see what you got here. Oh, this 32. <laughs> Holly, Holly Hobby. <laughs> So as you can see, it was probably about a three minute total cooking time, which is good. That's why all of your ingredients are already done. So that all you have to do is cook this outside. And this is what they'll look like. Let me get out of that. And whatever you fill it with, you can like get room temperature so you're not working with refrigerator cold stuff. Then you have to play the, is it warm on the inside game? So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up, and when I finish making the prepared plate, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out Cooking With Your Boy Boy, my, <laughs> my channel mate. <laughs> Girl, come back here with that pepper. Hey! So I've gotten the last of my soul rolls out. Don't they look good? And I'm about to get the broccoli that's roasting in the oven. I'm about to get that out. And what you want it to have is this brown color, like a golden brown type of color on the edges. If you can see that. That's how you know that it's break broke down. So that's that's good. Now some people like to make sure they have color on their plate and all that stuff. I don't do all that. I cook what tastes good. If everything end up being white, everything end up being white. Everything yellow, everything yellow. That's just what it is. You know what? Everybody's going to eat it. Katie, are you going to eat it? No. Okay. Well, there we go there. She's not going to eat it. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make up a plate real quick. We're going to do some of this pepper cabbage. No. 
It's so good. I love it. Oh, you want to eat it now, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Then we're going to just throw some of these soul rolls on here and a little broccoli. Now, this is my plate. That's, that's all I'm going to eat. And, you know, the good thing about soul rolls is, depending on what you made it with, it's depending on, you know, what you want to dip your rolls in. You don't have to dip them in nothing, but you can. So let's see what we got in here. We can use some, uh, are, are you here? Hello. How, how long are you going to take the food for? Okay, you can use ketchup, like if you me, you know what I'm saying? I eat ketchup with my tacos, so why wouldn't I eat ketchup with some ground turkey and egg roll? You can. Um, then we got sweet and sour sauce if you really trying to feel like you're doing something. I got the fresh and easy sweet and sour sauce. It's $1.19. Can't beat it with a stick. You probably could beat it with a stick if you wanted to. I'm just saying you probably should. And then we got the sweet baby rays. <laughs> this is Todd's. Look at this. He done put water in it and everything. Trying to stretch it. Instead of just giving a new bottle, he needs to use every last drop of it. But, you know, so it's a lot of different stuff you can use. You know, you can use ranch. You know, a lot of people are hooked on ranch, so use your ranch. So there we go. We got the egg rolls, we got the roasted broccoli, and then we got the pepper cabbage. That's what I'm having for dinner. What are you having? Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Chrissy. And don't forget, check out my boy, DeAndre, with Cooking with Your Boy Boy.